not really interesting to see what happens because I backed off the trailer with the fuel <laughs> with this thing attached and the uh, the fuel trailer is underneath me so what happens if we disconnect it now all right it's still under me though there we go <laughs> All right, hello everybody. We're gonna try and do the uh, big fuel run here, big food run here. We gotta get eight, eight things of consumables over to the unload location in Ice Roads. I'm way out here, all the way out in Rutland right now because Ice Roads cargo loading only had two consumables, and Bennington did have six at the farm, so I could have gotten my eight there. But I would have rather gotten them all like this, all in one location. So now we gotta drive through the maps. Uh, we're in Rutland, so we gotta get into Bennington, and then we gotta get into Manchester, and then we gotta get into Ice Roads. And then once we get to the Ice Roads, we're more or less taking the same same path that we have a couple times already. So I'll catch back up with you in the very least once we get to the Ice Roads, because otherwise, just like now, I'm just gonna be driving down the road to the next gateway and do that a couple times and then we'll be in ice roads and do that with three trucks so it's gonna take a bit of time and I'm not live so I'm not gonna record a two hour long video so I'll see you somewhere in ice roads alright we've rendezvoused back in ice roads everyone's over here so time to get all this food over there That it's going to be kind of the same route we 90% of the same route we went in the last episode so I'm going to join back up with you guys when we get to the uh, mud sections There's, we're just driving down this road and across the frozen lake but see you in a minute alright let's get this first truck through here shouldn't be an issue with any of these trucks but You gotta go down this big dirt road, dirt road, muddy, snowy road, and get off into another frozen lake and go across that and down another road like this. So we'll drive down these roads and jump back and forth so we don't do the whole trip. Yeah, because hopefully you've watched my other videos and you've seen some of this route before. This guy's got a three slot. So we got three of them in here. down a steep embankment down onto a frozen lake. It should be yeah, maybe farther down the road than I thought. They all have chain tires so they didn't like the pavement. Hence why this guy's suspension is nearly total. And I can't tell how many times I almost crashed the uh before. Yeah, here we go. We're going to get ready to go out into that frozen lake that we... This is the island that we drove around in the... Uh, uh, I can't remember what it was called. Whatever the last episode was. Because those are the hills that we got stuck on with the trailer. So we will hopefully see you now once we get to the next muddy section because 
this is giving me another frozen lake. There is a pretty big section that you break through the ice, but I think we'll be okay. If we're not, I'll see you. Alright, success making it across the lake and through the broken ice section, so let's see how the last leg goes. It's coming up here is where we would have turned off for the last one. I think. Oh no, that's right, I turned before this. Anyway, let's see what this path is like. So far, nothing. As I about to tip over. Well, that looked cool though. That looks pretty sweet. See the arrow already. So it appears this road might have been just a real plain road. So it's just that one real muddy section you gotta worry about. It's not even that muddy, but vanilla trucks are not very good trucks get stuck in it real easy. These trucks are kinda nuts, so. That's uh, going to be a tricky turn with the trailer, though. As with this one, and yeah, this one will be bad. I can run the trailer over the snow. Now let's get three of these consumables down it there, and then I'll see you in the tilt cab. And then same thing, we'll just jump back and forth between the... Uh, muddy sections maybe not this whole entire road because it was just a snow road nothing to it so in other words we're not going to show the whole journey with the last two trucks yeah, that's, that makes three let's get this guy out of the way And I'll see you in the tilt cab. Alright, let's set off. And turn these lights on. Looks like it's getting to dusk. Couple nice shots of that guy and we'll see you in the mud. Alright, let's try and smash through this section in the tilt cab. I don't suspect there's going to be any issue. Not in these guys. Let's get the job done. Yeah, it's quite the stark difference though, because that really doesn't look like very thick or deep mud. But like, for example, the Zetson that I had for like a day, that was stuck pretty much immediately. And something else was too. But they did not they didn't have ice tires. I don't think that would really matter in here. I'd rather want mud tires anyway. This thing is just a beast though. Wow, that looks good. The sunshine shining off the gas tank. Get one of these shots. Sunlight on it.
see if he has any issues with the breakthroughs of the ice. If not, I'll see when we're much closer to the delivery point, because as we saw, that other road is just a simple smooth dirt road with snow on it. So pretty much any truck can get through it. So I'll see you closer to the shipment point. Loading point. Alright, we're almost there. And we may show the whole journey with the Thor because he's fast. But once we drop this off here, I'll meet you over at him and start hauling butt. Watch me roll it right there. <laughs> Get him out of the way, then we need three more. Wow. Oh wait, can he hook up to uh I don't think so, but can he hook up to scout trailers? Oh look at how I can't believe I made that turn. I don't think so, but we'll check that real quick. Wait, it said too far away, it didn't say uh Come on, shift gears. It didn't say it can't attach. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Seeing the Thor. Alright, last bit of food. Let's get her over there. We might as well go for the... Probably just go for the whole run, because this guy's... fast. So we should be able to cover some ground pretty quick. Get ourselves down this road. I'm not gonna bother stopping for gas because he doesn't consume anything and he's got onboard gas anyway. Like eight bajillion liters, I think. Oh no, it's a tilt cab. The tilt cab is the one that has all the funky add ons and then it has like. 30 spare wheels and 5,000 repair points. And besides, with this truck, we might crash. <laughs> might as well go along for the whole trip. This one's a little out of control. But I like it. That's pretty great. See how he does in the broken ice section coming up. Or the trailer. Went over it too fast for it to matter. We don't want to go over this that fast though. And then we're into the mud section we keep on picking us up at. I thought we might catch some air. Uh oh. Struggling a little bit there. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Tractor pull. One thousand horsepower diesel tractors. I think rides for wheelies pretty good. A 
Whoa. It's about to say slow down before we get to the drop off here, but kind of did that by itself when we had slowed down. I thought it went down a lot steeper than that. Maybe I just blew through it so fast. And right, then we got another frozen lake here. A little bit bigger one and larger section of breakthrough ice. Uh-oh. Come on, trailer. And then we're almost to that other snow road that's pretty simple, so we're pretty much pretty much there as long as I don't do anything stupid. Because this road is clearly not going to give us any difficulties. As I knew this turn would be difficult. I didn't mean the I didn't mean the slowing down part though. And down this road. Giving them food. Twenty thousand dollars. Ah. <laughs> Where'd I go? Where'd I go, eh? Why do you gotta be so fast? And then take nine years to uh, shift gears.
That didn't work. This could be a problem. <laughs> oh, okay. At least that was in the middle of a mission, so, uh... I don't think I can fit the fuel trailer and the tail cab up there. I mean, why not? It's already screwed up and the, the mission's already over, right? Let's have some fun in the end. This is going to be totally the wrong angle, though. Yeah, let's not try that. Before we have two flip trucks. Not that it matters, because we can just recover them to the garage, but... Why am I having so much difficulty getting on this ramp? Oh god. Is there physics of ice on the trailer? <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's find out what happens when you squ squish the fuel trailer in with the ramp. This is a very good view though. Oh wait, I can get the trailer over there, we go. Hope it doesn't even move. <laughs> but... It might be, uh... No. I'm gonna say it might be just above the ground just enough. Nope. Definitely not. So that was a futile mission. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, comment. See you all later. Big food run. Goodbye.